Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wolfwraith and welcome to Let's Play The Last Tinker City of Colors. This is a game developed by Mimimi Productions and published by a company called Unity Games. It's basically a 3D action adventure that takes inspiration from games like Banjo-Kazooie and Jack and Daxter. So let's start a new game on normal. I'm not going to play on hard or kids mode, I just want to enjoy the game a little bit. World. A place where everything can be built from basic materials, as long as the idea behind it is strong enough. From ancient forests to bustling cities, from the tallest mountain to the deepest ocean, all is crafted with nothing more than color, paper, and glue. Even small pets, or giant ones, Paint is produced in the City of Colors and brings life to the inhabitants of Tinkerwell. Everybody has a favorite shade, which makes them individual. But now, the city is in danger. Fortitude has turned to sadness, curiosity to fear, and strength to anger. People have divided the city into districts, even starting to hate other colors. Only in the outer district, where all colors are accepted, are people still normal. But among them lives a boy with very special talents. Soon, he will start a chain of events that will destroy the city. Wow, I'm really, really eager to get into this now, because I've tried a bit before to see if it was working, but I, I never really looked at the story or anything I really don't know too much about this game apart from the fact that you play as some kid called Koru uh, and you've got special talents as it says and you have to save your hometown or something like that Koru again why do you always scare your old pal tap like that hmm? I, I don't think I could read it in that voice that that little thing is making or sh uh, I don't even want to try. Come on now, it's race time. First, let's register. Down at the booth, don't bother warming up. I'll coach you on the way. So the controls are pretty simple. Ah, uh, to look around, yep. Now, I'm not sure if I'm lagging or if that's, uh... That's something else. No. Morning, Koru. Are you fit for the race today? I can't talk to you, so I'm just going to punch you. <laughs> okay. What's your plan for today? See if you can score some paint. Look at that. I like how they use, like, cardboard for the speech bubbles. That's really cool. Let's talk to this bozo. Sorry, Koru. The gate's jammed again. It'll probably take a few hours to fix. Oh boy, business as usual. It looks like we're taking the long way around again. It'll be a nice warm-up for the race. Supposedly so. Whoa, look at this tubby. Let's punch him in the butt. How do you like that? Oh, it looks like you like that. You like butt punches, don't you? Whoa, calm down. Okay, let's see if we can explore a little bit. I, I actually really like the visuals. So far, everything looks really good. Uh, I'm only playing on high when you can play on very high if you want to. Uh, I forgot to mention that this is also only available on PC at the moment, so hold to auto jump over gaps. Here we go. Uh, but it will be coming to PlayStation 4 on in summer, or that's when the developers want it to come to PlayStation 4. And on Xbox One... It'll probably be on Xbox Live Arcade uh, sometime in 2014. So this year, it's still to be announced for that thing, so I'm not entirely sure. But it's available on PC. Links will be in the description. Hold and run against roots. But I'm really liking this. Like, this definitely looks like the kind of game that, that can take you back to those times playing stuff like Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter... Of course, I was a little bit older when I played Jack and Daxter. Hey, Koru. 
Your health is displayed at the upper left of the screen if you fall into the water. Maybe I should read it in their voice. Health will respawn. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> if you lose all your health, you'll travel back to the latest Tinker Seed. Okay, let's not worry about those. Let's see if we can find some crystals. Because apparently that's the currency we need. There we go. Blue. I like the noise they make. Uh, so let's... Let's go this way. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh, you almost got me there, buddy. You almost got me there. Now, that was stupid of me. Come on. Come on. No. No. I could have made that. You weren't su such a big meanie. Oh, there's a paint thingy over there. I'm going to go get it. Oh, no. No, I'm not. Apparently. Okay, I'm going to have to wait till he pops up again. Yeah. Okay. Why do you have to do that, Koru? Oh, hang on. Let's go get some... Oh, they run out. They disappear. That's no good. So if you haven't played uh, stuff like Banjo-Kazooie or Jack and Daxter, which I, I kind of never did play Banjo-Kazooie because I didn't have Inten Nintendo 64 when I was growing up. Uh, even if you didn't play Jack and Daxter, like, this, this kind of game is definitely going to be really interesting from what I can see. Uh, RBNL to jump down. Whee! What's this thing? Can I break it? It's made of cardboard and I can't break it. Let's break everyone's stuff here. Oh, did I just lose a crystal? No! Okay. No, I didn't. Hey, what's that back there? It's just a paintbrush. This is a floaty brush. I'm told somebody in the market district is keen on collecting these things. It sounds a bit dodgy to me. Okay. Let's break some more of this crap here. I'll break all their stuff. I will be the links of the- at uh, the links. The link of the 21st century. Thanks a lot, Koru. Now I have to build new crates again. Shut the hell up. That's what you get for blocking the party, bumhole. You too. If I had a ship, I'd sail away and visit the mountains. Wow, that... That looks really cool. I'm liking this. Whoa, hey. Bit rude. Yo, Koru. The gate's broken. It, is it? When I heard you smashing your crates again, but you can pay me back after you've won the race today. Deal. Now onto the jump pad. Step on the pad and press Y, blah, blah, blah. Whee! So, as some of you might know that I have been playing Max Curse of the Brotherhood. Uh, that is a more childish type game. This is a childish game as well, but I kind of feel that it's aimed a little bit more towards an older sort of generation. Uh, both in terms of the fact that the inspiration does come from stuff like Banjo-Kazooie and Jack and Daxter. So most younger generations won't be too familiar with that anyways. But I mean in terms of, like, the gameplay, I'd suspect that it's going to be targeted towards teens. So the story is probably going to have a bit of depth to it in comparison to something like Max the Curse of uh, Brotherhood. Halt, monkey, fiend, I am a great wizard. Prepare yourself for my color. You shall not pass! Ha 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 ha, okay. Sorry, Koru, I just couldn't resist. That wizard outfit you made me is amazing. Thank you so much. You're amazing at tinkering. Here's 30 crystals for your trouble. I'll go show to my... Fr oh, crap. I should have read that before hitting the Y button. That's pretty cool. Uh, the humor is good in this. That's uh, a definite plus. Hey, what's this thing? Oh, that's adorable. They make funny sounds when you hit them. Uh, let's go not this way. Uh-oh. What happened? Game saved. Do I want to go this way? 
damn loading screens it's by indie developers so i couldn't really yeah, expect much from that sort of thing i would have liked if it wasn't any if there wasn't any loading screens sorry i'm getting distracted now it's still all their bloody crystals is there anything else up here for me to break where am I going? Am I going to a place I'm not supposed to go to? Doesn't look like it. Let's break this stuff. Break everyone's crates. So controls are simple enough. It's like you're saying balloon. Tinker some fish. Oh wow, there's like a secret passage thing here. Oh, awesome! And I can jump down, hell yeah! No invisible walls, haha! <laughs> Win! Let's play some carnival games! Oh, maybe not. Embrace the spirit of unity. Hear this, friend, separating our people is wrong. Dividing the city into districts is wrong. We are one, we must work together again. All colors are equal. Embrace the spirit of unity. Shut the hell up, hippie! All of you hippies! Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoa. Yeah, punch all of them for good measure. What do you want? Who's the best painter? Take your shot. Uh, this guy. Oh my god, can I jump up that? I need to get up on that thing somehow. Oh no, how do I get up there? Oh wow, secret barrels! <laughs> I'm just ending it. I'm going to places I'm not supposed to go by the looks of it. I've got 80 crystals, will he let me in? Let me race! Ah, uh, you partis- oh yeah, I gotta go register. Koru Tap, what can I do for you? We're here to register for the race. Alright, that'll be 500 crystals. What? Since when have you been charging canal runners? Canal runners? I don't know. Sorry guys, but the district is in bad shape. The tensions between the other districts are affecting us too. If they don't produce any color, we'll have nothing to paint with. So we have to earn crystals in any way we can. But looks like we have to get some crystals and fast. The people at the tavern might have some work for us. Press up on the D-pad and I'll show you the way. I kind of know where it is because, yeah, I played it a little bit before. Uh, I just didn't really explore anything. I have a tendency... Uh, I'll normally pop a game on and quickly test it out, but I don't really play it full on or anything. Like like I said in, in some other previous playthroughs, I like to keep things as fresh as possible. Hey guys, do you know how we could earn some money? That's new. It doesn't surprise me in these times anyway. I've been helping Muddy out down at the mushroom farm. Today's my day off, so you could probably help him instead. Brick is organizing a new fighting workshop today. He asked for you personally, Koru. Maybe you can do something for him. Thanks, guys. Let's go, Koru. Remember, press up on the D-pad and I'll show you the way. I don't need you to show me nothing. Now, there's no other way for me to get up there, so let's just go this way. Uh, where do I have to go? This way. Okay. Hey, Koru. You're on your way to the farm, I presume. I'm doing another fighting workshop today. If you'd like to join us the same place as usual, just use the cargo rail up at the station. <laughs> I should have done the, the voice acting for this guy. That was totally perfect. You guys have to admit, that was perfect. Uh, which way do I want to go? I wa okay, so I want to go that way, I'm going to go this way, just to explore a little bit. Get some barrels and stuff. Oh yeah! Don't need the health. Okay, what's down here? Oh, hello. Can I break this stuff? Why would you not let me break this stuff? What is wrong with these people? Oh, wow! Okay. I've... Okay. Let's just... 
Walk away and pretend we didn't do that. What do you want? Hey, Biggs, can you show us where Muddy is? Oh, okay, so that's... Oh, okay, let's go this way. Let's, let's, uh... Let's follow the path. And break more stuff. Can I duck? No, I can't. Wow, it's like, this is, this is a pretty open world to explore in comparison to a lot of other uh, kids' games I've played in the past. This is really good. Hit RB or RT to get across. No thanks. I, oh, let's uh, break some more stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't really done anything interesting apart from break barrels. So let's go and talk to this muddy guy and see what he wants us to do while I've still got time. Nope, nope, no distractions, no distractions. Gotta follow this big mushroom guy. He looks like one of those things from, uh, Dark Souls. I've seen GIFs for him, or GIFs. Kind of forgot how to pronounce it, actually. I heard there was a special way to pronounce it. Or that we've technically been pronouncing it wrong. Can I punch him? Jesus Christ, mate. Hey, kid. What brings you two here? We'd like to earn some crystals, old geezer. That's not very nice. Oh, and by the way, the spike plants have grown back. Blast those things. But that gives me an idea. Until now, you've only ever helped me harvesting shrooms. It's time I taught you something new. Let's see if we can find big somewhere here. Oh, yeah. Come on, hurry up, old man. I'll beat you to... Oh! Oh, no, I think... Okay, I thought I pissed him off for a moment there. Good job, kid. Now you see all those mushroom beds around here. They start glowing when old Biggs here stands on them. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to cut down those good-for-nothing weeds while you practice with Biggs and activate all those mushroom beds. Okay. So... Which, which one do I go to? Do I go behind it and whistle for him? Come on, you big tubby. Now what? Mushroom beds activated. Oh, okay, I have to activate them all. Alright. Now how do I get to the other ones? Okay, I'll just keep whistling for him by the looks of it. There we go. That was interesting. Sort of. Ah, oh, so when you whistle he comes for you. Look at that smile. Look at how happy he is. Not bad for a first try. We'll leave the beds like that. I'll harvest the shrooms later. Now, on to the next bunch. Okay, let's break some of this stuff. And continually whistle while we make our way there. Come on, Tubby. What's his name again? Biggs, that's it. What happens if I jump on this thing? Do I want to know? No, I don't. Oh, just teleports me to the other side. That's okay. Come on, Biggs. And then on this one, and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do something. How can you not hear me whistling from all that way, you tubby? Press Y to activate the switch. And then I have to go around the other end. Pretty simple, there's no uh, difficult puzzles by the looks of it, that's good. I hate puzzles, as some of you will know. Oh, okay, so those things above his head pop up when I'm in red. Is the sun all happy there? Holy crap, I didn't notice that. Oh wow, this is going to get really annoying. Uh oh. Oh no. Can I save him? <laughs> Whistle him to his death. 
Well, it looks like Biggs was a little too heavy for the old bridge. Whistling won't do any good here, but don't worry. Biggs has a special connection to all beds he has activated. Go and press the switch on one of the beds we did earlier. Okay. He's going to teleport to it, I bet you anything. Yeah, I knew it. I mean, what else was going to happen? He was going to fly? Just all of a sudden? Good job, kid. You're a natural. One last batch and we're done. Uh, which way? Oh, I may as well go here and break this stuff. Let's see what's down here. Any brushes for me? Yes, there are. Or one, I should say. Yes, there is. I know some people can be, it's like, oh, he said it wrong. Okay, talk to this guy. Okay, kid. This is where it gets a little tricky. The problem is that Biggs is too large for those low arches. The darn things keep sinking. Anyhow, we need to shrink him a little. Okay. Oh, wow. Say hello to Bomber. Don't worry, he's still Biggs, but a little bit more compact. Working with the mushroom folk, you have to get used to crazy things like that. Now, how do I get through? Okay, bring him here. <laughs> That's really funny. And now come through here and whistle for him. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's funny. Oh, I could have teleported him. Or not. He's making funny noises. Okay, I can't go across that, so let's get him to come over here. Jump! Whoa! Okay, it looked like I almost fell there. Come on, Biggs. I mean, Bomber. On we go. Whoa! Where did he go? Oh, no. Oh, okay. He touched the spike. I have to guide him properly. There we go. No, I can't. Oh, okay. That that actually hurts me. Bloody hell. Why do I have to go and do that? Talk to Muddy. Bloody hell, Muddy. Oh, how, hey. How do I get back? Oh, that's how I get back. So I have to hit RB. It wasn't just right trigger. You did it, kid! And boy, you were fast. I think you've earned yourself a little bonus today. Meet me by the patio so I can pay you. You're not gonna pay me in something I don't want you to pay me in, are you, old man? Okay. It's taking this god awful time. Ugh. Alright, so like 70, 100 years later. Here you go, kid. 250 crystals. You've earned every crystal. You can have my old backpack too. It should help you carry all that money around. Here, here, here. Oh, mad. Okay, it's giving us stuff. Thanks to you, I can take it easy harvesting those shrooms. Anyway, I guess you'll be heading off now, yeah? Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to end that one there. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite the video. Share it with your friends. It would really help me out. Actually, don't favorite the video. I think YouTube disabled that feature anyways. Uh, on top of that, I just need to let you know again, this is one of those... Let's Plays that I'm not going to fully edit, it's just one of those relaxed type ones. Uh, mainly because this is the type of game you can't really full on edit. But, uh, yeah, that, I just wanted to give people a heads up in case, once again, you're wondering whether I'm releasing the normal quality, I would. And at the same time, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be a full on Let's Play. It sort of depends on how the views go, uh, and in terms of whether Max gets more views or this gets more views, I will be doing 
uh, stuff for the forest as well. So I'm going to be having a lot of Let's Plays coming through the channel. So I want to focus more on the ones that do get the most views. But I don't want to completely disregard ones that I've already started. And that goes for the other series that I'm doing as well. Like GTA Online, GTA 4, GTA 5. So there's a lot of projects I got going. So any help would be appreciated. But as usual guys, I will see you in the next video.